looking and a very well received spaceship builder slash battler. If you like games that you've seen on the channel before, like, uh, for example, Space Haven, or even like, uh, what is that one called? Uh, Star Stardius, I think? And a few other ones that we've uh, showcased. This one could be for you. Combining a few elements of what reminds me of like forts, um, and also a style that reminds me a bit of like Factorio or whatnot, just with how some of the buildings and stuff look. It plays completely different, but uh, as it says at the bottom, a starship architect and commander game. So uh, basically we can build our own starships of different sizes with different crews and battle it out across the galaxy. Now it's still in early access, so there's a lot of things missing, but there is mods already available for the game, so that's pretty cool. And uh, this is a game that uh, I'd been wanting to play, but just didn't get around to until now. So welcome aboard if you're an expert of the game or want to provide any advice to me or any anyone else, make sure you go ahead and uh, let us know. And uh, multiplayer is a part of this game too, so you'll be able to play uh, multiplayer with friends. So that's pretty cool. Mods and multiplayer and a space game, and you get to build your own stuff, which is pretty cool. Hard to compete with that, so... Anyway, one's in the chat if you're watching live, one's in the chat for the number one community out there, one's in the chat if you haven't put a one in the chat, one in the chat if you smash the like button. You guys are awesome. I hope every one is having a good day and a good week so far. It's only Tuesday, but where I live, it's snowing heavily, so today is a good day to like get all cozy with some cool building games and um, I guess also kind of like a, this kind of a survival game too where you don't want to die to death, right? You don't, you don't want your ship and your crew to be exploded. So that's kind of cool. I see on the screen already some elements of the game. I see drones flying around. It looks like big cannons and stuff available. Maybe energy weapons and such. That'd be kind of cool. All right, let's uh, start a new game. I haven't played before, so I have nothing. I have no, I have no idea what this game's about. So uh, other than what I said about the basic Steam Store, you know, elevator pitch. Career, build, fight, and scavenge to become a legendary co cosmeteer uh, while exploring a galaxy. And then there's also creative mode. That's cool. All good stuff so far. Uh, build, fight, scavenge, okay. Uh, we can be an ensign, admiral, grand admiral. I guess we'll start it easy, see how it's like. Uh, Imagineer is free build, builder, architect, star right, okay. So we'll just start on kind of like easy mode, I guess. Advanced game options. Oh. I hate exploration. You can remove that. Oh, that's cool. They, they've. All right, that's really good. Starhaven has a lot of this too, where you can do all sorts of different types of, um, like adjustments to make the game a little bit more to your liking. Although they don't have additional sizes yet, because it's still early access, you can still skip some of the things you don't like. Like if you don't want to explore and you just want to know where everything is, that's cool. We'll play as is. Model L. Highly maneuverable sports three blasters that are effective at destroying enemy subsystems. It lacks any significant defense. Remaining funds, 10,000. It kind of reminds me of The Sims, when you would, like, pick a house and then you'd have a remaining budget. You know what I mean? You'd pick a design and then that's what you got. I like it. Uh, the Model C, slow and well-armored, two cannons that are inaccurate but can penetrate into enemy ships. You get a little bit more money with that one. 352 remaining. Model S. A trade speed and offensive firepower for defensive shield generator that can block incoming enemy fire. Seems good. Hmm. Highly maneuverable and has three blasters. I'm liking the, the, the Charlie and the Lima so far. Yo, Arctic King, thanks for the 32 months, dude. Appreciate that, man. At least you weren't ice fishing and floated away. Wait, did you did you fall in? Ice fishing, bruh? I hope not. Hmm. Yeah, one of the problems with this game is, like, if we build our ship bigger, we might run out of space. No, I'm just kidding. Space is like limitless, so we're fine. I think I'm going to go with the Model S. That actually had a pretty cool looking design to it. I also like the Model L though, but I'm just going to go with the pointy boy. Let's go with that one. I'm assuming in the future too, there'll be more prefabs. It'd be also cool if you could build your own ships to do the career mode with from the start, like your own starting models, which would be interesting. Oh, how to play it. Controlling the camera. 
Uh, pan, zoom in and out. Oh, there's a station. Uh, Red and Riot, thank you very much for the uh, Raptor Egg membership. Thanks for clicking to tap and join. Welcome aboard. Can't find your ship. F to focus. Okay. Uh, I got that one. Flying your ship. To fly your starship, right-click anywhere in space, your ship will fly there automatically. Do these developers think space is in a 2D plane? Unplayable. Negative. In fact, I'm not even going to review it. As an, as, as an elite gamer, I expected more. No. Uh, right-click to go anywhere. Okay, cool. All tutorials can be reread at any time by selecting the tutorials and codex from the pause menu. Okay. Ooh, we're fast. Or at least, it feels like it. Oh, look at that. The thrusters actually have to be uh, used to... Nice. Oh, that's cool. We can actually uh, move sideways as well. Oh, that's, that's impressive. That's good. I like that. Uh, controlling time. What is that thing? Oh, look at how far you can zoom in. That's nice. Very cool. Alright, so yeah, pause at any time, so... Yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Got it, thank you. Ailing ships and stations. Oh, we can make a new... We can make a call. Okay. <laughs> this probably could have been an email, but let's hop on a call and let's do a little hailing. Uh, hailing ships and stations. You can interact with some other ships and stations by hailing or calling them. To hail a ship or station, first click on the comms button near the lower left and then hail button. Uh... To the ship or station you want to call or simply click on it by hailing the nearby friendly station. Did I move this? Oh, yeah. Oh, they have bounties for us. Oh, neat. All right, so that's a little, uh, little star citizen, little no man's guy. Good. Like that. Uh, friendly stations provide various services such as mission lists, crew hiring, and resource trading. It's also something you find in, like, uh, Elite Dangerous, for example. Uh, these services will be explained in more detail later. Not all the ships and stations will accept your hailing requests and offer types of services. Okay, so some people won't even pick up the phone. Rude. Uh, let's see. Missions are your primary way of earning credits and fame. I'm assuming fame is, like, XP, so it'll unlock more stuff for us in the future. Most friendly stations will have a mission board advertising the available missions. If you haven't already, hail the nearby friendly station to view its mission board. I better do that again. Uh, most missions have a danger level, such as one that indicates a, uh, approx approximately how challenging it'll be. You want to upgrade your ship before tracking higher or tackling higher level missions. To accept a mission selected from the list on the left and click the accept button, we recommend you. Except the first level fugitive bounty mission. Stay away from higher level missions until you've upgraded your ship. Alright, so do a tier 1 fugitive. Uh, this one's pretty close. Fugitive bounty. A fugitive haywire class vessel is wanted for illegal activities within the Sigma Montuclis system. Authorities from the Monolith Cooperative have posted a bounty for 6,000 to be paid to the Cosmeteer that can eliminate it. Uh, eliminate Haywire. Okay. Missions continued. Uh, nearby missions will be automatically tracked near the top left of the screen. Many missions will also show you the location where you'll need to fly to in order to complete the objective. You may see it. Uh, you may need to zoom out to see it. Oh, damn. We can... Whoa! We can zoom out a hell of a lot further than I thought. That's cool. Then F to go back to our ship. Nice. That's cool. All right, uh, click on an objective to center the camera on the location. We got to go here. So not too far. Uh, you can view all the current missions by clicking the career log. Try flying your ship to the mission's location. Okay. So we just gotta go there. I wonder how long this will take. 
Oh, we're going pretty fast. The question mark there. Do we have crew members we can see? Oh, that's the exterior view of the ship. So we see thrusters. Oops. Hmm. Oh, thanks again, uh, Red End, for the support. Oh, you played the demo of this, Red, and it was good? Yeah, I I wanted to showcase this on the channel. I wanted to put up a video about Cosmo Tier, but I got buried in a few other things. But we played other games that are similar, and I really do like these types of games. I think they're pretty cool. Okay, we're on our way there. Attacking the enemy. Uh, enemy ships that are close enough to detect on radar but too far to see directly will be shown as pulsing radar blips. To attack the enemy starship, right-click on it or its radar blip. Uh, your ship will fl fly to it and attack. The game may have automatically paused to show you the tutorial. Press space to unpause. Okay. Uh, some enemy ships will be too powerful you for you to defeat. Flee and upgrade your ship before attacking them. Okay, so bounties don't seem to expire? Oh, what is it? <gasps> Can we do mining? Oh, I thought this was all going to be combat, but... Are we going to actually get some drones out there to do mining? That'd be sweet. Oh, we're going really fast. Jeez. All right, so can we... All right, engage. Bro, you're going to get me with that little puny thing? Oh, he hit me with, like, an EMP. Uh-oh. I'm not sure if he's almost dead or not. We don't have any electricity. We better flee. Mining is a thing in this game? Okay. He hit us with an EMP. Can we repair? Oh, there's mining right there. Gather. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, they did mention salvage, but I didn't think that was mining. I thought that was something else. Oh, there we can manage the crew. Oh, no. There's red shirts. Oh, no. Six people in the crew. More resources. And we can paint. Ooh. Let's go with... Oh, that's cool. Let's go with, like, a gray color. Yeah. Oh, you can add decals? Oh, that's cool. Oh, you can flip that way. That's cool. really cool um, all right, that's cool if we're gonna die we better look cool the MP he hit you with is the disruptor turret you can buy the blueprint at a station ooh cool thank you Scott so if we get a blueprint what does that mean exactly is that something we can like I mean, I'm sure the game will tell us later, but is that something we can put down and then build over time and, like, add materials to it? Or is that, like, unlocked so we can build it later? Somehow. Are we still disabled? What's going on here? You can add it to your ship with blueprints? Okay. Okay. Does this mean this crew member is wounded or dead? Operating cockpit, laser blaster, picking up battery for standard thrusters. Wow, they actually move around inside and stuff. Oh, he's disabling our engines too, I think. That jerk. I thought we had a shield. Maybe we have to activate that?
Let's turn back around and get him. Oh, we're getting him. Oh, he doesn't have his laser blaster anymore. It's with its, like, appearance of stuff. Just just the, just the some of the metallic-looking stuff. That's cool. All right, we got our first kill, boys. Oh, there he goes. Well, there's your fugitive right there. Floating in space. Uh, receive payment from the... Wait, can I salvage this stuff? Oh, we should definitely salvage. Do I want all of it, or is some of it junk? I guess I'll just... I'll figure it out, I guess. Ah, so we can steal components. Cool. Salvage everything? Okay. Is there a way to do all? Like, can I click and drag? Red knows what he's talking about for this game. That's good. I like it when Red's played a game and I haven't. He's good at giving advice. Wait, this guy's still alive. He's trying to escape. You better run. Dude, look at that. So I'm assuming the crew will probably repair automatically? And they're also salvaging automatically. Oh man, this is like Space Haven, but just kind of like a little more faster paced and more focused on combat than it is like survival of like making oxygen and designing rooms. Although this seems to have that too. That's awesome. Oh, and it tells us right up here. Sorry, I got too excited to like, I got a little excited, I'm sorry. But everything in this game is also very straightforward. Sadly, you can't recruit crew from defeated ships. Oh, that'd be a good feature in the future, then. A future feature that they can feature in the future. But no, the future is now. Nice. Okay. Yeah, someone's getting close, but I don't know what that was. Unknown contact. All right, let's just go retrieve payment. We'll head back. Once everything is aboard, click the wrench icon. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. Wait, let's go on speed one. So now we can more closely see what the crew is doing, and we can order repairs, and we can order upgrades, or construct things. Ah, I see. We have 63 steel. So those icons are steel, coils, hyper coils, tri-steel, diamonds, Processors, enriched uranium, and sulfur. Diagonal pattern because of the thrusters. Okay. Dude. You want to give me neon bunny ears for my headset for Christmas? Oh boy. Uh, to save components, use the blueprint mode in the bottom middle button. Left of the screen. to save components. Oh. Oh, look at all... Dude, look at all these things. Energy weapons, projectile weapons, defenses, light crew, power, production, storage, utilities, and structure. I see. Command points, crew, uh, beds, okay. Alright, let's get paid. 
All right, once you're back to the station, hail it again. You should see a list of any completed missions. Oh, so you can take multiple um, multiple missions and then come back later. That's cool. All right, let's make a call. So there's our six. Excellent. And we also get seven uh, fame and then 15 monolith cooperative reputation. Oh, that makes sense. All right, let's do some more fugitive bounties. Those are fun. Let's do all the fugitive ones. And then we'll do uh, asteroid fields after. Ah. Hey, what's up, Tan? Yeah, the, Vul the Vulcan salute is a uh, YouTube emote, I guess. That is a thing. All right, so how do we buy more, like, weaponry? Like, we have energy weapons, but is there anything physical we need to buy? Music is great, dude. Manage the resources, building materials, and munitions stored on your ship. Okay. So we have lasers, so I'm assuming... That we don't need munitions, then. What we can buy from here? Oh, okay, so we can buy... Mi oh, parts and stuff. Nuclear missiles? Wow. So we can buy everything from here. Or at least a lot of it. Oh, okay, here here it is. Unlock heavy laser blaster for 3,000. Disruptor. Ion beam emitters. Mi oh, mining laser. We might need that for the asteroids. Pairs together two large laser guns on a single turret, which combine for much higher damage at the expense of some accuracy and versatility. Standard cannons, missile launch... Oh, mine it. Mine launchers, too. Oh, damn, those are like torpedoes. Oh, a flak battery as well. Oh, now we're getting into um, Firefly. And a large shield generator for 10,000. Damn. So what kind of a reactor core do we have? Oh, wait. I see what you mean. The, the icon, the hand icon in the game is the Vulcan. Yeah. I didn't even notice that. Wow. Chat is awesome. So how do I know my stats of my ship? Like, how do I know if I should upgrade my power core so I can... I, I want to use that new weapon, but how should I do it? Or should we wait? I thought we were supposed to have three lasers as well. Looks like there's a small laser there. It's a fire extinguisher. Oh, interesting. So that can put out fires anywhere on the ship. There's a line chart to the right. Oh, this thing. Yeah, okay. Okay, so power is suggested at 1.3. So if we build more weapons, they'll probably suggest more... 
Oh, nice. Oh, we could upgrade right away. Let's try that. What is this room? Airlock hatch. Oh, that's to go outside. Yeah, next to the engine. Good idea. All right, let's try three cannons. We gotta name our ship. Can we name our ship? Go take a nearest bounty. Nearest bounty is... That one's looking close. Uh, only problem with early upgrades is you can't get a lot of crew to quickly man them. Okay. All right, we're a little short on power, but I think we'll be okay. Where's our cash? 16,000. Oh, we need a door to the shield generator here? Okay. I see. There, that'll work. That's really nice that the game automatically puts in doors between compartments like that. That's really nice. It's... This is, like, fun without being too tedious and time-consuming, which is totally fine. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go for the nearest target there. And then we'll come back and upgrade power and stuff. Well, doors will slow us down, I think, honestly. I mean... If one opens up, it'll let the uh, the wind resistance from outside, you know. Don't want to let that air in. Alright, time to fight. Oh, damn, he's getting smashed. Nice. Damn, they made that easy. What a great game. Oh, they're going to get their... Warp core crap. Yeah, there it goes. Uh-oh. Where'd that debris field go? Oh, there it is. Ah, there we go. That's cool. That, yeah, they made the things that you always end up doing in other space games just a lot more... less tedious, you know? More fun to do. Easier to click, easier to figure out. I like it. Damn. Oh, you can right-click on specific enemy parts in order to target them. Good. It's also it's, uh, very similar, I didn't mention it yet, to Faster Than Light, too, with the whole, like, how the ships look and how the crews function and things like that. 
That was a good one. the space blueberries we're working on it we're working on it looks like we should bring the ship closer So now that we're out here, can I like modify the ship a bit? Like that looks like a cruise quarters there. What if we do two medium or small reactor cores? Oh, power capacitor. Ooh. Oh, you always end up building a big cargo bay on missions to pick up the pieces. Oh. That's something we can, uh... Is this what you mean? Just regular storage? Oh, I see. Look at that. We can also rename the ship. That's cool. So where do we get crew members? How do we uh, how do we recruit people? Do we just bribe them with like dino nugget emotes in the chat or something? I think they brought it all in. Alright, let's go uh, to this one. Hey, what's up, Rudasu? Oh, we need fame to increase the crew level, but we can get, we can recruit at stations. Okay. Let's avoid any of that, just in case. We like a big level pirate. My god, get wrecked, sir. Oh wow, that was that was over fast. Oh, there's also like derelict ships you can just salvage. Oh, the other one wasn't even a bounty, that was just fun. Pirates will gang up on you? Okay. We'll keep an eye on them. Watch for space bears. Okay. Hmm. 
Oh, description and lore? Wow, you can actually make lore. Sometimes, chat, I get sad that I'm so busy playing other games that sometimes some slip through the cracks. However, this hasn't because I knew it existed. And you guys suggested it too, a few times. So for those of you patiently waiting for me to play, thank you. <laughs> Are there space blueberry bushes? No. Oh, I love how the crew put stuff in from outside through the airlock on the top. That's a great little detail. Wow. That is so cool. Is there a hotkey to rotate or do you have to click the buttons? Oh, comma and period. Okay. Good job, chat. Thank you. There. Now we got the 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 donculus. That big booty on her. It's literally the donculus. fly into this for money? Oh, what? Does it show where you've been? Oh, cool. It tracks, like, your your movement. Oh, that's great. Uh, what does chat say? No, don't fly into the sun. You'll die. Oh, thank you. Uh, what, what's that chatter's name? Icarus's dad. Thank you, Icarus's dad. Appreciate that. Uh-oh. Let's go uh, turn in some money. Or... We'll get that salvage. I think it's French. So inside the target area, the enemy could have multiple, like, assistants and things like that. Or, like, friendlies. Multiple bogeys could be inbound to our AO. I don't know you, that's my purse. Stay away, unknown contact. Is this PvE only? Well, it's multiplayer, so I don't know if that means that you can fight other people or if it's mul like co-op PvP. Oh damn, this guy's taking him on too. Get him, Carthage. Wait, we're now obscure. Go put all that junk in the trunk. There's only arena mode for PvP? Okay. So, multiplayer, then, does it work like... Does multiplayer work arena only, or is there a thing where, like, players can 
like play like this exactly what we're doing just multiplayer oh multiplayer is co-op so does ever do you manage a ship together or everybody gets their own ship game level youtuber Everybody gets their own ship. Oh, nice. Mining laser will cut up ships post-combat. Excellent. I can buy more crew now. Oh, right. We can recruit more people because now we're famous. Yeah. Cool. Looks like we have a little damage. There we go. If you need an engineer, try a Wookiee. Now, I think I want somebody a little bit more experienced, like a veteran. A Wookiee's just too new. You know, Greenhorn, Wookiee, beginner, novice. I want a pro. You just got it? Good. We like to have fun here, Smiley. Looks like there's different sized engines too. And different shapes as well. Two-way small thruster, cool. What is EVA-5? Number of crew currently outside the ship. Flying too far from them will lose them. Oh. Oh, so if we leave, they'll die. Okay. You can press I to always see in your ship. Ah, cool. Thank you. That also changes the music, interestingly. What a detail. All right, uh, let's eliminate one more and then we'll head back. Uh, now I feel bad for not playing this earlier. Badge. Oh, my badge. Love how the thrusters look. Love that art style. I don't know you. That's my purse. Oh, damn, we're, like, locked in battle. Oh, it's like when deer fight. The ship with the larger thrusters has the right of way, sir. Uh, we probably better back up before we uh, shoot the warp core. Take that, pistachio. Oh, they're dead. Send in the red shirts, yep. Yeah. This is cool, dude. And as a reminder, Chad, if you ever find cool games such as this or anything else you want to absolutely make sure I check out, never be afraid to DM me on the Discord of a Steam store link or whatnot. Unfortunately, the Steam store uh, sale for the last week is over as of earlier today, but uh, do add games like this to your wish list and check this one out if you like the demo and stuff. 
this is cool so far. I, and I'm really thankful for you guys helping out too. So thank you very much for being so helpful and detailed. You guys are awesome. This is our ship. Chat's a good crew. You guys are a good crew. Captain's only as good as his crew and vice versa. So there's multiple factions. So, oh my god. Whoa, and there's multiple. Okay. So these must be controlled by... Okay, this is the Centauri Imperium that controls that. Oh, so there's the Cabal of Soul, the Fringe Systems Resistance, the Centauri Imperium, and Monolith Cooperative. This reminds me of some of the factions from uh, um, Supreme Commander. Uh, I picked up Farthest Frontier just before it went off sale. Thank you, Raptor. Oh, really? Farthest Frontier was on sale? Damn. I really... Oh, man. I, I really should start doing like top 10 videos or something like that but whenever there's a steam sale maybe i should just do my like top picks or whatever of in between sales what games just kind of stood out to me and just pick three or four or five i i do like all the games that i play but some uh just kind of capture my time a little bit more you know like valheim and or, like farthest frontier like you mentioned yeah i'm gonna have to do that for next time I'm going to make it a point this next year to do more, you know, top 10 vid. You know, you guys are often asking, like, what's your favorite game? Would you recommend this game? What's your favorite, like, multiplayer? I could probably just start doing that in videos and say, like, hey, here's a good, you know, here's a good co-op shooter. Here's a good um, cooperative building game. Here's a good, you know, we're going to get more Viking building games now for whatever reason. You could have gotten this on the Steam sale, but it just ended. It was I don't know if this was on sale. This came out in October, so I don't know if it would be on sale if it were just around for a month. Or just around a month. But yeah, this is still new and in early access, so hopefully they plan on adding a lot more to it. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Top 10 prehistoric city builders. Yeah, I'd like to do that too. I mean, maybe it would be fun to just showcase some trailer. I mean, it'd be a great way for you guys to see like 10 games. And then if somebody's not new to the channel or they haven't, or if they are new to the channel and haven't checked it out before, the I would have to make them as games either that I'm anticipating that I want to play on the channel or games that I have played. And like, here are the ones that I would recommend in order of like how much time I've sunk into them. Because again, I don't, when it comes to games, I have a hard time saying this game is better than that game. But it's more like this game has these things and this is what I like about it, you know? Like, it's like comparing cars. Like, all cars have, like, a combustion engine, you know, for the most part, infotainment. But it's like what makes them stand out from the others. Not just like, oh, this ca this car is completely unusable and this car is the best car ever. That seems too simple of an argument. Quiet down. Woo, warp core. Dude, this game is cool, man. Chad, I can already tell you this is probably one we're going to play more. <laughs> I like this a lot. And we're just at the beginning. Combat has a high fleet element. Oh, man. High fleet was cool, too. That game was, like, really fun. They, high fleet, when that came out, they were like, dude, we want you to be the only one on YouTube to, like, showcase the game. It's like, oh, wow, that's really nice. And like gave me like a week exclusive to be the only one to showcase it or something. And I was like, dude. Okay. That's nice. Looks like the bribes paid off. 
We have enough power uh, uranium to build a new power station. Okay. When we head, we're gonna head back to the station and unlock some new stuff. You guys can let me know what we should get. Damn, this music is a freaking ten out of ten, dude. You'd only trust a game I approved. I mean, well, the good thing about the channel is I, I feel like with most of the games we play, you can pretty much tell within ten seconds to ten minutes whether or not you want to put ten hours into it. You know what I mean? Like Valheim, I think within 10 seconds, it's like, ooh, you've got my curiosity and my interest. And then after watching it for like 10 minutes, when you see what you can do in Valheim, for example, the building and the combat and the forging and stuff like that, it's like, it's tedious but satisfying. It's like clicking and tapping the like button. Sometimes it's a little tough, but, you know, get it done. Do you want to know more? Yeah. Well, actually, speaking of that red. Oh, well, we are, I already mentioned that too. But yeah. We'll talk. You have my number. It's number one. Damn, that donk is full. Is it weird that you're not into Valheim, but we'll play the hell out of something like Fire Commander? Hell no. You, I mean, if you like something more than something else, go for it. Some people like a little bit of everything. Some people like, you know, five things, but they, you know. I mean, there's only so much time. You gotta do you. Glad this stream isn't sponsored or anything? No. Not sponsored at all. But whenever we do a sponsored stream, it's, you know, most of the part is just information and what I like about this game is that since it's been out for a little bit chats all over like the being helpful and that's really nice too sometimes we play a game right on day one and nobody really knows everything about it so if we play something a little later that's good too because then people have had a chance to play and can advise both good either way can't wait for Frostpunk 2. Yeah, so uh, going back to what I mentioned earlier in the year 2, is any time that there's a game that's got a sequel coming out, we'll, we'll play the original before we get around to the sequel. So, um, but that, you know, like for example, if, if I play Red Dead Redemption 2, I'm probably not going to go back and play 1. But Frostpunk will play 2, you know, 1 before 2, and some games are just a little different. I, I guess it's like with Red Dead Redemption, that would take a very long time. But Frostpunk, I feel like we could get away with just playing like the initial run. Although there's lots of DLC for it. But I don't think it's necessary to do it before playing the sequel. But, good game. You feel you're too old to be waiting eagerly, but for Hogwarts? Yeah, Hogwarts, for whatever reason, reminds me a little bit of Bully. But it's not that kind of game. But it's just cool that you just kind of do what you want. Kind of. You know what I mean? Alright, chat. What are we going to buy? So we're here at the station now. So we got a hail, right? New phone, who dis? Alright, we got crew members, right? Everybody's 250. Oh. Oh, we need that that level of fame for them. 40. But like, how can I tell their skills? Is there a way to know? 24 souls on the station want to join the crew. Increase fame to persuade more. We need more beds though, don't we? Alright, let's add some more beds. What happens, Chad, if I try to move... If I try to move a storage bay with stuff in it, will that delete the stuff? Because now we got a lot of materials and I kind of want to goof around with like building some more stuff. If you do it in blueprint mode, you will not lose anything if you build another storage. Alright, let's try out this blueprint mode. Allows you to make temporary, invalid, or unaffordable changes to your ship's design. Ooh. 
All right, let's first save our current ship. The Donculus. Donkey us. Yeah. All right. Oh, flight direction. What? Wait, formation order. You can build entire fleets. Self-destruct law. Also, let's save the game just so I don't goof anything up. Okay, so blueprint mode. Oh, that's cool. So that's under crew quarters? Ah, okay, so you buy prefab crew quarters, okay. Chat saying I should build walkways too. Uh, the tractor beam is practically a cheat code, so many ways it improves the overall game. Oh, really? Okay. I think we should have a... Well, actually, the small shield should be at the front, right? As it, yeah, it gives a shield here. So it's not a 360 shield. We kind of have like a directional shield. So that's probably a good place to put that up front. We might want more thrusters, right? So maybe... Is there a uh, copy mode? Yep. Oh, control, li literally control C. Wow. Geniuses. You need a lot of energy for that? Okay, for a tractor beam. Okay, let's put in another small... Oh yeah, there's a mirror mode, yeah. Ah, oh, that's how that works, okay. But where are thrusters? Oh, wow, look at some of these damn huge thrusters, large. It seems like it'd be a fun thing to do... Uh, to go into this game and do a... Uh, like the creative mode, then. Just to get an idea for a design. Okay, so ship design, resources, thrusters. Combat tactics. Reactor or com command room, okay. So we have enough to build this. Although I don't really like this.
Seems like a better idea to build multiple small rooms for bulkheads rather than large rooms. Then we have structural stuff. Oh, there's the mining laser. Oh, we gotta unlock some of that stuff too. Oh, wow, the button to make it so is called Make It So. It's like, dude, they have so many Star Wars references here, dude. Man. That was the greatest TV show of all time, man. Jean-Luc Skywalker of the USS Death Star was probably, like, the best ship ever. And you guys can trust me, because, you know, I know my stuff when it comes to uh, Firefly. It was my favorite mystery theater, science theater 3000 character, for sure. Alright, so now we can have a crew of 12. That's cool. So... No, wait, they didn't add a door. How do I add a door? Oh, wait, there it is. Oh, I can just put doors wherever. Okay. Or wherever it's green. Okay. Wait, where where's the doors? Oh, there's corridor. Oh, doors are here. Corridors are there. Okay, all right, cool. Battlestar Andromeda? Absolutely fantastic, yeah. That was a great comic book series. Yeah, I want more corridors, too. Do I have enough to make, like... I think what I'd like to do is maybe make a corridor going down here. The ship is going to get a little wider, then. But I don't know if I have enough materials. Let's recruit somebody first, though. Let's do a little... Let's have a little phone discussion. Let's get our money. Game is solid, man. Quick fun, too. Things get done quick. Alright, let's recruit. So, like, chat, what's the difference between having, like, level 0 and level 40 fame? Like, why does fame matter if some of these people are, like, locked? Because right now I can have 12 people. I already have six, so I can add six more. Your first few are free? So wait, you're telling me I can hire, like, all these people? That's like ten people. Okay. And everybody's the same, huh? Okay. Oh, the price increases, too. Maybe we should just hire three more. I added another reactor, though. You need a lot of crew at first? Alright, let's hire Max then. Oh. Oh, we can even buy steel from them. That's cool. Uranium, gold, carbon... 
Iron, sulfur, diamonds. HE missile parts. Cool, like the, the missiles are like built on the ship, I assume, before they're fired off. Don't forget to wait for... Oh, don't leave them behind? Oh, they have to like a EVA over to the ship? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Six EVA. Okay. Well, let's make sure that gets done first. Oh, dude. Oh, they have little conveyors on the sh stations, too? That's fantastic. Can you get these in your ship? Oh, automatic walkways are a thing you can make. That's awesome. Tier 5 Preacher. Look at that, man. Beautiful. Okay, so what should we unlock? Um, the mining laser sounded good. Oh, there it is. Moving walkway. Oh, there's the mining laser. Shoots a pair of precision laser beams that can quickly extract resources from even the tough, toughest asteroids, also effective at salvaging ships. And a pinch can be used as a short range weapon. Hmm. Ooh, explosive charges. Sensor array. Oh, there's the disruptor. That's the uh, EMP. I want to try a bunch of little lasers. Use the tractor beam to pull the friendly station into the sun and scrap them. Wow. Is that something you can do? Oh, now that's just a big old corridor. You can actually do that? No way. Imagine how much of a ship you would need to do that. All right, let's take on a new. Let's start with those ones. Okay, let's see. So, blueprints. short a little bit. Uh, that's my idea for the future.
Yeah, we could put mining operations at the back side of the ship, maybe. Be cool. We're fighting pi pirates right now, so we'll do that. I mean, we could always build multiple fighters, too. Or m multiple ships, I think. Wow, dude didn't even stand a chance. cockpit was up front. This music is good. This is music... That if the soundtrack is long enough, this is probably something I'd like to listen to while playing like City Skylines or something. Good job, team. Yeah. An asteroid field? Yep. One up there, too. Uh, we'll hit that one up on the way back. way to see our top speed oh there is 87.2 meters a second and distance is less than eight kilometers cool he's got everything make markers on the map wow yeah if we hit 88 meters a second we'll go back in time at the start of the stream and i'll remind everybody to join the discord and check out the new merch in our uh, teespring store exclamation point merch you know what you do when you go back in time i think All right, let's have a fight. Here we go. We're in the area. Hello, Mr. Pirate, sir. New merch with bears. Planets look cool. Go, Donkey, let's go. Good music, man. Good music. Watching these guys go out and get all this stuff is like watching Black Friday sales. When will my le next live stream be? Well, I'm live now, but my Valheim stream for tomorrow will be at our usual time. 9 a.m. Central. 10 a.m. Eastern.
But tomorrow is also the release of uh, Dark Tide. So speaking of kind of space-related games, Warhammer uh, Dark Tide is out tomorrow. So we'll play that with Red and Lumberjack, and hopefully Jerry will make his triumphant return to the live streams. Now let's go finish that one bounty up there. Wait. Alright. Not bad. Yay. Yeah, the goof troop returns. That guy's fast. We got everybody. That's good. You know, this kind of reminds me of uh, the... Chat, what is the name of that one game where there's a bunch of, like, blobs that are on the screen and just bigger blobs just kind of eat the smaller blobs? That's essentially what this is. As your ship gets bigger, you're just kind of taking on smaller ships. And then you're just salvaging all their stuff to make your blob bigger. It's much more complicated than that, but essentially... It's like, uh... Weren't they called, like itch.io games I mean that's a website but you know what it was it was like people would make meme balls like well Jerry pick the ogre we will we will see Wow, oh. Let's make repairs and then let's do that laser upgrade I wanted. Oh, you can just right click to rotate. Nice. I'm really, really feeling this. I like this game a lot. New favorite game chat. That's a lot of guns, brother. Make it so. Yep, videos of that are on the channel, Game Wizard. Make sure after you guys subscribe and turn on the notification bell, make sure you check the channel for any and all games we may have played. You name it, we've probably tried it, or it's on our list of things to do. Exclamation point schedule. Check down below, too, for that. Upcoming stuff is on our schedule and stuff we've done before. I think, uh, what are we up to for videos? Like, 5,000 vid- no. 
I've, I've played a lot of games. Jacksepticeye, for example, celebrated his 10th year on YouTube today. This channel has been around since the same year that YouTube started. Or around that time, 2005. This channel can drive. The Donculus. What if we move this back here? Or, yeah, two fire suppression systems. Wait, why is one red? Oh, the nearest crew member is too far away. It's fine. Too many lasers. That's fine. Wow. Ooh, a new station. Well, hy hyper jump beacon. There we go. Yeah, so it looks like the crew can move faster through the corridors, so when we get a chance, we'll be able to... I'm going to move these engines out and put some corridors down the center on either side. Yeah, we could get the automated walkways, yep. That's a good idea. Yeah, we could put a mining laser or something. I haven't done mining yet, so I've mostly been doing combat, but we're working on it. I got ideas.
I like watching the crew uh, work. wait till there's 500 crew bro can you get up to 500 for real can we have the uh, enterprise rent a car Bruh. I've got some ideas though I've been watching how things work and I've got some ideas to optimize some things on the ship Fifteen hundred is maximum on default settings. Holy hell! I thought like twenty would be max. Oh my god! That's a lot. You've seen a thousand crew. Wow. Then we must. You can hide behind asteroids? That's cool. Wow, look at that fire. Oh my god. Oh, that's perfect for small ships. That's easy. that debris that was cool well chat these are freedom delivery systems can you ever have enough freedom are simply de devices in which to deliver freedom. Oh, if you right-click on the mine, you can set... Oh, cool! So you can tell them what to get and what not to get. Oh, that's great. Wow. That's better than the tutorial. close to the crew. Uh, you played the demo of this a while back. What have they added? Well, the game's now released into early access, so I, I mean, I'm assuming there's quite a bit different between the demo and early access. 
But I haven't seen if there's any updates over the last month. Regardless, this is really, really cool, and I like this a lot. And I can see why chat is uh, excited to see me play. It's good. Good game. We need more uh, lore, though. We just got to kill any pirates? Let's get this guy. So if I pick up, like, missiles and stuff, can I sell that for money? Like, it, you know, like, if I pick up something I don't really have, I, can I just sell it? I can? Okay. Maybe that's what we'll do, is just gather everything and then just... If we can't use it on our ship, we'll just sell it. More lore is required, dude. We have the we have the dankest donk, the donkulus, dude. This is the donkulus A. Yeah, we got a little bit of room, but now we're gonna make those corridors and stuff. But I think we'll do that when we go back to the station. Let's go get our money and recruit some new people and add. What's up, Leon? Alright. Could be more pirates around, but let's head back. If we see any pirates, we'll, we'll make a stop. We got a lot of redesigning to do, chat. Ship's got to look sexy, too. That's half the battle, bro. It's a... F like, space combat isn't just about killing the enemy to death. It's about looking good. It's about a fashion show, chat. Gotta be fabulous. Is there, um, like, melee weapons? Can we just ram into somebody? That'd be cool. I noticed there were, like, drones and stuff. Maybe we can use uh, bomber drones to go plow into them. Blow up. Man, look at us pulling up. Skirt! Wow. <laughs> Alright, let's make a call. Alright. Money, please. Time for the big redesign. Big O redesign.
This will just be corridor automatically, right? Okay, we need another cruise quarters then. So we need even more people now. More people are needed. Mining laser? Um, yeah. We could do that. Do <laughs> do airbags work in space? No. There's no air in space. Good thinking, chat. Smart. 360 degrees of fire. That's actually a good idea. Let's just let's just put lasers all around. Nothing could sneak up on us that way. We're just like a flying gun. Well, multiple guns. Yeah, let's put a parachute on there so we can bail out. Ejection seat, yeah. Okay, hold on. Let's actually do... Uh, put these engines back here now, right? Ah, we want the power near the engines. Yeah, we're going to recruit a bunch of people, so that's why I'm adding the, uh, the sleeping quarters. The cannons are ridiculous, and I love it, so I want to keep them. So let's do... Damn, this music is way too good, dude. Ridiculous. Music's too good, dude. Absolute banger. Ooh, three-way small thruster. Ooh. More stoppage. No, no, oh. Hey, okay, wait a minute. I set up crew jobs? I didn't know that existed yet, so no.
I'm learning. Okay, let's see. We get a few more crew members. <clears throat> we want more than that, though. Maybe armor and another shield. I agree. Is the mining laser on top? Oh, it is. Can we get robots? Oh, yeah, good qu Well, there are drones, but can we get, ro like, androids on the ship? They're recommending more power, but... Oh, we can change crew uniforms? Oh, that's cool. And we can probably, yeah, create new roles, right? Okay, that's cool. I haven't seen any uh, face huggers just yet. But aw, aren't hugs nice? Ooh, destroy a pirate base. That's gonna be cool. Let's go mining for a while. Oh um, my, I'm good. Thanks, Chad. We'll go up here and do some mining now. Cool. Is that Earth? Um, yes. But also, no. It could be. You should unlock Steel Plate Factory. Oh. Oh, so that way we could unlock... Um, so you're saying we could manufacture iron plates from the ore we're about to mine. Interesting. That's a cool idea. Very nice.
We're a little slower than before, too. Oh, there's the manufacturing ammo, HE missiles, nukes, mines, steel coils. Oh, cool. That's how we get that. Cool, you can push stuff. Ship's looking good? Well, thank you. Alright, so now that we know this, we'll, we'll go back and unlock the blueprint then when we fill this up a little bit. That's cool. That's super cool. We gotta paint this ship. Oh, that's cool. It looks like debris and stuff. Uh, stays around. Amazing. Yeah, this game is multiplayer. Well, these aren't drones, these are people. Our crew. Let's go home and do some manufacturing. Yo, Michael, thanks for the five, dude. Thank you very much. Wow. All right, let's go get some blueprints, chat. So cool that you just build things on the fly too. 
That's nice. The ship needs a tavern, you think? Oh boy. Chant thinks it's a good idea to get the steel smelter. I think that's a great idea. We'll need money to make coils, though. So we can make... So we're not just building a warship, we're building like an everything ship. Or at least we can, if we want to. more command rooms. I command you to build this. Three. Provides 50 command points. Hmm. Oh, can we get a cock? Okay, we get diff different cockpit uh, blueprints. Okay, get different cockpit blueprints. If those truly are a thing. A control room. Ah. We need monies. Wait, do I have any bounties that I need to claim?
Okay, so I turned in those. Maybe we can sell some things? I still have iron. Cool, things actually have to be manually offloaded. That's so cool. Wonderful. So we can definitely do trade that way. Nice. Alright, we're going to go fight, then we'll do some more upgrades. So let's go find some pirates. Or maybe we'll find them at random. That'll just have to be a passive thing we do. Let's see if there's a new quest. Deliver four processors. Okay, I have that. Wait, to the station. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a good deal. Job done, then. So let's do... Uh, four processors. Well, it says to deliver, though. Does that mean the cell? We'll see. Uh, Michael Morrison. What's up, man? How long to the blue eye? Uh, send a membership milestone. If you send a membership milestone, it'll tell you how many months you've got. It's two years for the... Uh, the blue eye. You must be close. Alright, receive payment. Sweet. Alright, well that takes care of the money problem. Yeah. Alright, back to the blueprints. That was cool. Now we can make it so. That was a lot of money. Nice. And now we can uh, go get more iron. Let's see. Let's go do some mining. That's cool. So we got a lot of combat done. Now we can just like start mining and making things into plates and then expanding the ship by having like our own onboard construction site essentially that's cool the donculus the ship is redonculus well, we're going to call our ship the re Donculus. What is that? Oh, those Hyperium crystals. Nice.
Okay, who's driving? Oh my god. Mining laser is badass. My dedication to delivering mediocre content is ridiculous. Well, thank you. Well, my me, I myself might be you know mediocre, but some of these games are pretty damn stellar, and it just takes a little bit of taking a peek at in order to know. Let's go get more of that Hyperium. So the mining laser breaks things up. And the people have to go out and get it. Does the tractor beam eventually pull materials in to where you can use the mining beam to like break things free and the tractor beam to pull it in? There's gotta be a scanner to be able to detect minerals at a greater distance too, right? Nothing there. Oh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. If you have Space Haven, but buy the Cosmeteer bundle and save $2. Oh, what? Wait, this isn't from the same people who made Sky Haven, is it? Sky Haven's a little bit more, like, serious in terms of it being, like, um, much more about in-depth crew management. Happiness, temperature. This kind of a little more... Hey, we're gonna we're gonna get rid of all that stuff of like having to worry about food and water, and then we're just gonna let you make a big old ship. Kind of cool. Man, look at him go. Now we're making plates. Then we can add some thick armor if we want to. But not yet. Music's too good, dude. And that mining laser has range. Nice, dude. There's a bundle on Steam for Space Haven and Cosmoteer. Great games. Love them both. Yeah, I like the intricacy and the, the... Like, it's much more tedious in that game and Space Haven to build a ship. 
but like it's just as satisfying to build a ship this big in that game and, and in this one too. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool to make this ship like a battleship where we put lasers on either side, work a broadside. Enemy ships, that'd be cute. Let's build more storage. Deck cannons are cool. All right, yeah. We're gonna have to get to that point. Clearly, this game has a lot of depth to it, even though you can you can do a lot already. Takes a while to make those plates, but now oh, we're out of oil anyway. Do we have a bumper sticker that says we'll break for no one? Uh, we have Baby on board. And uh, the Maya child is a honor student at uh, Bob Ross Middle School. And Professor X's School for the Extraordinary Gifted Children. So there's that. Let's see if we could salvage some stuff in our ship. Ace, thanks for the 30 months as a raptor egg. Thank you very much for the big O support, brother. Now we need another 72 to make the other one. Wow, that's so cool. So it actually shows them putting, putting the rocks into the... Uh, Oh wow, it actually like grinds it up, smelts it into ingots, then puts it into a manufacturer that turns it into plates. That's so damn cool that it's all in one like that. And you don't have to make the, you know, like the processor and then the smelter and hook up all the cables. And it's just like, it's mostly about spaceship design. Just looking cool. Which is important in, in uh, in space chat, you know this. Over here. What? Tan, I think, was it 22 months? So two months to go. February of next year. 
Tan will be a Blue Eye Ultimate member. The Pinnacle of Greatness. That's got to be a pirate base. Oh, four months to go. Oh, yeah, YouTube always shows, like, ahead of time. Ship Graveyard. Frickin' banger. Small laser platform. You die now. Bye. This is badass, man. This is just satisfying. You just pull up and you're bret bret, and then you just take stuff. It's cool. I like it. Time to enter Bob Ross mode. We need frickin' sweet racing stripes. We can go faster. Smiley face. <laughs> We're going to kill you, Smiley. Oh my god, it's the level one Smilers. just become a pirate at a certain point, right? I mean, work on uh, wealth redist redistribution, right? Tie each of them to a layer.
That's cool. I like it, Smiley. Claudia, wait, eh? Tavarish. Minnesota Vikings. All right, there we go. That's good enough for now. salvaging chip graveyard is a great place for all of our shopping needs Music's so good, I love it. Thank you. 
Okay. All right, let's go back and get some contracts. We've upgraded the ship a little bit. The donculus looks like the tip of a spear or something now. Or like a staff. Base level six, damn. Let's look at blueprints though. Eleven thousand. Um, heavy blaster, disruptor, hyperdrive, bridge, bridge. We don't have time for card games. Oh. Uh, let's see. Moving walkway, medium. Pairs together two large laser guns on a single turret, which can buy much higher damage at the expense of some accuracy. I think we should go with that one. I want to give that a shot now. Let's try that blueprint mode. but I think we should do some lights. Heavy laser can take out a level 6 pirate base. You think we're ready for a level 6? Mm, I don't know. about that.
Add some more airlocks. Dude, this ship is freaking sweet, dude. This is cool. I thought I'd like this, but damn. New phone, who dis? Yeah, right, we'll give it a shot. Where are them pirates at? Well, their base is right there, huh? Okay. Oh, no, you think I'm designing a fortress ship from Warhammer 40k? Oh, the game is rubbing off on me. Nicely said, viewer. Oh, we could do with some cup holders? Okay, let's go back in and... Make sure we got what we need. What's the worst that could happen? Ah, oh, we'll just die to death. steel plates we got though. Damn. A resource count. Oh, we got carbon too. Oh, okay. Only got a little bit. All right, well, let's go to this pirate base. I want to see how combat is at a actual like enemy fortress. We'll see how it goes. Oh, with this we might be able to unlock the big O guns. But I doubt the pirates will fire back. I mean, that'd be inappropriate. Stop here and add some more shields. Five thousand for another generator. Well, we'll see. Look at that, it just navigated around an asteroid. That's sweet. That's cool. All right, well, let's go ahead and make a save. There's more tutorials there. Well, seems like one to six is a big jump, but maybe all those tier ones we destroyed in the ship upgrades will help us. And what we'll do is if they start destroying our ship, we'll just outbuild them. And we'll be building it. It'll be like Fortnite. While they're busy shooting at our ship, we'll be building more of it. It's going to be a good idea.
Oh, hell. Let's lure them out one by one to fight. I'm pal. That's the base there. Um, this is fine. Nope. Why are six people EVAing? What the hell? have flown out. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, time to rebuild, I think. reload that station was aggressive that's what I thought that's what I thought level six like that we're gonna need something for the missiles we need um, the point defense I think that works like the phalanx can you board ship in combat um, I don't think we can board enemy ships but that's a that's a good thing to consider yeah I want to lure these guys out one at a time all right let's look into that point defense too yeah, that works. That was cool. It's on the roadmap. That's cool. Hey, Salad. Let's do the um, point defense. Automated defense system that shoots down enemy missiles and projectiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we want. Oh, it takes 16 coils. Eww. All right, let's go salvage some coils. We'll go bar borrow some coils from the enemy. I like how when we uh, when we move, it looks like our ship's completely on fire. We need some weapons behind us too. Interesting. Very interesting. Also, we'll get money if we destroy one. I mean, three more pirate ships. 
Like one more wave. That'll be cool. Word. Man, look at that thing go. How does this music keep getting better? I can't believe it. I want that much armor for speed. <laughs> Looks like the bat symbol for the tail I was building, yeah. Find me coils. I don't think I want that much armor because then that means more engines and then that means more we gotta we gotta expand outwards Two for materials. Eight hyper coils. Four coils. Probably gather both. I like Mass Effect or Dead Space. Uh, yeah, both are cool. I've never really played either of them, but I thought they were pretty neat when I saw them come out. Do we add to this? Uh, yeah, why not? Why not? More donk armor, I guess. Thank you. 
Everybody's back. We need money. Go deal with killing a few of these pirates now. And plow right into things. Get out of the way. Out of my way. Do I like sci-fi type games? Well, this is certainly one of them. So, yeah. Now, if we complete this mission, we get like 30,000. So, this will be a pretty good jump for us. Approaching enemy fleet. Soon. Star Citizen or No Man's Sky? Well, I've enjoyed both, but Star Citizen is due too inconsistent with its issues and... Uh, there's been problems that if new features are added and then problems still exist. It, it reminds me of like how YouTube does business, where it's like there's gaping problems, and then rather than addressing those, just new features are piled on top of that to try to bury the problems. And so it's like, well, come on. Like some of these things are like day one that should be resolved. Not day one, but that should just be priority number one, and there should be a massive effort to try to fix some of those things, and they just never seem to get addressed. Or they are, but then it's just like, they focus more on like, that you can use a towel in the bathroom than fixing like falling through the floor of an elevator of a ship that you bought, so it's like, eh. Black Demons, thanks for the 10, bruh. Alright, we'll call this Base Battle 2. But I would recommend checking out Star Citizen whenever there's a, uh, like a free event. They recently had one. But No Man's Sky, you know, like for the amount of content, even at full price, is pretty damn good. Oh, you can push around an AI ship and then lead them into battle. Oh, so like you can force them into the battle to help you out. That's evil. Love it. Yeah, I think No Man's Sky is a buy and Star Citizen's a try. I love how this game is done too, where it'll save your uh, 
your blueprint and then if if something is destroyed you just simply repair it and it replaces it without you have to having to really think too much about it right you put more uh, effort into the design not like the maintaining you know the armor wing on the back yeah it saved us when somebody tried to flank us from behind Oh, if you press uh, I on your keyboard, as in like Indigo, that's what lets you see inside your ship. Also changes the music, interestingly enough. We need point defense for missiles. Shift right click will set it weapons AI? Oh really? I think it's control left click. Yeah, that works. Did we lose any crew on that attack? 30 out of 30. battle it's a base battle yeah all right let's get it
that's that's a no-go. That's a no-go. Nope. They have too many um, frontal cannons. Or big old battleship guns. That's cool. Alright, so we've destroyed all their uh, ships around them. Actually, wait, can we not get the bonus? Oh, what? That didn't count as pirates? Damn. We might need more point defense, though. We might be able to do that. Well, then they got the deck guns. Eh. Try to keep it a distance. Go guns that were killing us. So two more power plants up here. We're going to do more power up front. Lasers for the win. At least here. Keep the big boys firing.
Nice. Can we build a Wendy's on our ship? I believe we can. That's going to be uh, probably on the roadmap for future updates from the devs, but I'm sure with a small amount of convincing, we can make it happen. They seem like logical people. Micromanaging hyperdrives. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get to that eventually. Oh, damn. Big O explosions. Oh, and they're bailing. Oh, it's gonna hit their frickin' their core. It's gonna hit the core. The core. The core. All right, let's switch the recipe. Add our secret ingredients. Oh, it's already over. Never mind. Pull up real quick. Skirt. Give me those first. Look, they're like bees buzzing, buzzing around with that. Be cool if there was infantry combat out in space. Like they could fight each other that way. It's dead, Jim. It's dead. Beautiful. Game's pretty cool so far. I agree. Let's get processors to... If there are any. Right here. are hard at work. Empty a storage bay? Can I give them an order to like tell them to? Uh oh. Can I have them take this stuff to another room so I can delete the room and build something else? Is frickin' cool. I love that.
Wow. Love that. Needed more power for them guns. You're not just a spokesman, you're a member? Oh, that's awesome. I, I wish I could say the same. Oh, look at all those other juicy materials. Mm. Alright. I'm gonna get everything but steel. And those. I'm gonna try to sell the ammo and stuff. I mean, it's just free money. It's my money and I want it now. Call JG Wentworth, 877. What now, cat? Uh, chat? Oh, yeah, it looks like we can fly and f manually control our ship, too. Man, that's a lot of ammo. That's a lot of freedom, brother. Nah, I can't do that. Not yet. Wait till all that stuff gets hauled in, brother. Do you have the resources to build a second ship? I don't know. I it it, it implies that we can build a fleet, but I'm not I'm not there yet. I'm still newbie level one. This is pretty phenomenal. What a game. Oh, listen to those noises. Yeah, we could destroy three ships coming back if we find them. Otherwise, this big contract was worth like 30,000. 35,000. Big money. Like the big money you'll save at Menards. Save big money at Menards. You say big money when you shop my Dude, look at him get that ammo. It's sweet. Now we're too loaded up now, brother. All right, well, we can always make a second trip. All right, let's fire up the engines and get out of here. Wait, why won't the ship move? Uh... Oh, yeah, 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 clutch, clutch, yeah. I forgot. Thank you, chat. Yeah, we need the clutch. My bad. Okay, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> it happens. We were sitting there for like six months gathering up all the ammo. You know what's cool about this game, too, is that while we're traveling, like, we could go to, you know, we could, like, increase the speed of the game and all that, but, like, we could actually decorate while we're here. Like, while we're, while we're in transit, we can make use of our time.
That's cute. Oh, we're almost there. You just put this game in your cart? Excellent. Well, if you get it, I hope you enjoy it. Oh, that is... That needs to be changed. The symmetry, the symmetry. Oh wow, that ship's doing some trade too. What a weird looking ship. Ah, oh, it's a neat looking merchant ship, cool. Thirty-four thousand, or thirty-five thousand, but brought us to forty-three total. Wow! All right, they kind of want us to go to different systems now, which means we're gonna have to build that hyperdrive. But first, ion beam emitter. Standard cannon, large deck cannon. Hell yeah, brother. Work our way up to that. We need to start upgrading our reactor core. about to get dummy stupid thick in fact wait a minute before we even do this buy that upgraded image need that upgraded engine ooh an engine room increases the power of adjacent thrusters by 50 some ideas. Now we're unlocking some cool stuff. Thrust. Yeah, that thing automatically sends power to the engines, which is great.
What's up, Kraxic? How you doing? Trying to think if we should... Uh, I want to add more storage, but... good okay then uh, need some breaks Okay, and then... Oh, there's a lot of narcissism. Jeez. I need shields here. Do we have enough money for that? 5,000 each. Replace that. Ah, just short. make it so with that. We'll add more engines later. Cool. And then eventually what I'll do is move these engines down and put an engine room here.
Very nice. All right. Long time to take all that ammo out of there. Look at him go. Cool thing about this game, too, is that you gotta kinda do temporary, like, make do designs, because sometimes you're missing a little bit of resource or a little bit of money, so you just kinda change something a little bit. And then do what you wanted to do later. Look at that, man. Alright, what else you guys got for a mission? Let's see. Faction conflicts. play Homeworld 3 when it comes out. Yep. I think we're going to do that. Okay, so let's learn about hyperdrives. Instruct a hyperdrive to enable hyperspace jumps within the, uh, within the star system. And to get to other star systems, you'll first need to purchase it from the blueprints in the space station. Valid destinations will pulse blue. Alright, so we got to buy and research it. Or buy and build it. I need more money. Nope. Yeah, Dwarf Fortress on Steam. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that one too. That one looks fun, Miley. Ah, uh, the hyperdrive was cheap to buy the blueprint for, but expensive to build. sure where I'd want to put that. Alright, what are some prices here? So, Okay, we can start uh, mining steel plates from wrecks, and then also iron mining and making things in our foundry. That's cool. Yeah, I'm going to have to add that to uh, my wish list, uh, War Fortress. It's one that I thought had come out by now, but it'll be a great video to show off on the channel. Like, it'll be fun to play.
All right, let's go back to the graveyard right next door. Perfect. Oh damn, that thing can stop on a dime now. Go here. Pretty easy way to get money too. The shield rooms look so cool. So neat. I love the way that they look. What's up, Jonathan? How you doing, man? Yeah, we're gonna make a Borg cube. I mean, it's possible. I'd be more of a board square, but yeah. Watch this thing fill up. There are three lights? No, dude. Dude, there are four lights, dude. Nice try, pal. Not a bad ship. Yeah, I like its design. I mean, what's kind of cool about these games is that there's always... As you're kind of like building a ship, you're not necessarily breaking it down and starting over every time. You're kind of just adding on more and more and... Exponential growth rather than just like beginning and an end of construction. This is like ongoing. Really good. Alright, then we gotta kill three more pirates and we get some money from that. That's cool. And explore unknown signals 11 out of 16. So, what we'll do is go to... I guess a couple of those remaining ones eventually. That would be cool.
Man, even the engine rooms look cool. I'm assuming if we go within the red circle, we're dead. Oh, the planets don't have names. It'd be also cool if we could, like, uh, hopefully in the future, it'd be neat if you could go down to a planet with, like, a dropship and, I don't know, get materials or something or set up colonies or something. That would take it away from being an actual ship game, but it would be cool if you could tra <clears throat> trade with people on the planet's surface, maybe. No way you didn't didn't have to just do things with station. What is that? Oh, try steel. Oh yeah, boys, we're getting loaded up with materials now. Hell yeah. That armored dunk, though. That's some thick dunk. Big. Big. Shields up. Unknown contact. Wow, our point defense can actually shoot a shell? Get wrecked, sir. Goodbye. Got him. Got him.
Nice try, pirates. Wait, the flat cannons can shoot down lasers? Like the plasma balls we can fire? Really? Oh yeah, it says enemy project missiles and projectiles. So yeah, okay, wow. Well. Dude, this game's cool because now at this point, like, we could just sit here and like just gorge ourselves on like steel plates. And just sell that. Big money masook. Point defense was good investment. You think we need more crew? Yeah, we'll probably end up, um, you know, the ship's going to get a little wider. We'll make more storage, and then the middle will be for cruise quarters. Yeah, right now we only got 30 people, so now we hopefully could double that. You still get credit for taking out pirates if the AI kills them? Oh, really? That's good. Game's incredible. It's really cool. Very simple. Uh, there, there's something about it, just like with Valheim, where it's like, you know, things are... The tools and the concept are very straightforward and simple, yet the ways to do those things, there's a lot of creativity and methods to do things. And there's really no right way to do things. Like, if you wanted to make a super long, skinny ship, for whatever reason, you could do that. We need a recreational holodeck. Well, we do have a Discord. Not good enough? Oh. Well, I tried. Oh, they had, oh, 12 ammo left over. Yeah, they did. Almost done. Holodex 3D. Yeah, well, so were Doritos for a while, but that didn't make them good. <laughs> True. I like how the crew has to leave to do that, because it makes you vulnerable when you do that. 
Like to salvage stuff, the crew has to leave, so thus you're vulnerable to attack. Shields are down and like crew's not I mean, unless you have a lot more people. My ship looks like a backwards battle cruiser from StarCraft, really? That's cool. for that, hell yeah. Then we'll just have to grab some more to buy, or to build our own hyperdrive, which is totally fine. Easy stuff to get. That's how many people are following me on Instagram right now. Look at that number going up. Oh, nice. Wow. Wow. Nice. Nice. Wow. Thanks, James. Yep. It's a sale down at the steel plant factory. Everything must go. Okay, so now... Let's go pick up more. Make that hyperdrive. We'll get rid of these and make these uh, cruise quarters. Hopefully find a pirate. Milling about. You got a paper cut that's right in the joint of your finger? Oh my god, dude. That's like... That's bad. Life-threatening. That's really annoying. That's the worst spot.
I think we'll have to put it right here. Right in the middle. Oh, super glue it and it'll go away? Oh yeah, wasn't super glue, wasn't that... Weren't they trying to make that a medical adhesive or something? Something like that. Yeah, the mining lasers working too. Then we'll go back and be able to recruit more people. Oh, damn. We're going to try to get like a crew of a hundo. This is cool. We might be able to do it if we get enough room. I mean, it won't be in this run, obviously, but... So we're up to what, 875? Okay. Ooh, two diamonds. Nice. Valuable energy focusing crystal used to construct advanced ship parts. Oh. Huh. That's cool. The worst place to get that cut is the thin skin between the upper thumb and the lower forefinger. You made that mistake only once. Yeah. That's that's where you gotta call in like a chaplain. Have a spiritual meeting with family. You might not make it. Well that or stub toe. Although stub toe is horrible, like oh god. You you hit your toe on that on like the coffee table or like the edge of a couch. That's pretty bad for a while. But then when that ache creeps up your, your foot like into your ankle, oh my god. Amputate. Is there a storage place other than the ship? Um. No, I mean, like, the storage is on our ship. We're like a warship. We're like a freighter, frigate, cruiser, bruiser. We're something, all right. Oh, wait, that room, uh, they can't get to. No wonder. My bad. Oh, yeah, they could. There was a door there. That's true, you could make like a space station base if you wanted to. All right, everyone should be coming back aboard. There we go. How can you get more crew? You'll have to get more fame by completing missions, and then you can go to the station and recruit them. And then in order to, like, increase your 
limit or whatever. You just have to... Uh... Build more quarters for them. But if you need more help in the game, there if you hit escape and go to tutorials, you can... There's pretty much everything here. You might have to look for a little bit, but there is stuff on crew. Like squad orders, roles. That kind of thing. Which I didn't even know there was a thing for that. That's fine. All right, let's get back. Wait, we need the hyperdrive. Which I think just meant I was going to delete this one. Music is so good. back to the station. Can we speed up time at the top? Yep, you can turn it up and down as you want. We're gonna recruit more crew members now and start going and investigating unknown signals. Whatever that means. I think it means what it says. Yeah. New phone, who dis? Start paying the price. Better just have more crew. All right, so now our maximum is 41. Wait, 41. Oh, out of 48, so we just need more cash. So let's sell plates. New phone it is. Keep that. And then we'll just use the money to buy, maybe recruit one more or two more people. Six sixty? Eh. Nope. So now let's go to some of these unknown signals. Bring us up to thirteen if we do these two. This looks fun, true. 
Yeah, money's going to be a big thing now, so missions are... I really just want to do more combat now, but... I mean, mining is... We could just mine iron ore all day and just... Start putting the stuff in the old steel smelter. find pirates indeed we did burning to intercept up to pirate number six out of eight or was it a pirate i'm assuming if they're hostile then we're all loot goblins i don't know i don't know, I don't know. Which, at this point, I mean... True, this is like 2D space engineers, yeah. Space engineer is cool. Yeah, the description is uh wow, wow, wow. Oh, those are the enemies. Bye. Good luck. No Uber home. So much loot. I love how they're even storing plates in the, like, the manufacturing for steel plates. Like, where it would store it if it were producing some. So it's cool. Like, every little spot can be used. Is it a trap? Oh. It's a new friend. Oh, cool. Fugitive bounties, level two. And do. Oh, 
And we've already auto completed a couple. I want more uh, recruits. Not seen you on Farthest Frontier for a while. There was a video on Farthest Frontier on Thanksgiving. What do we want now? More weapons? I think we're pretty good with she- um, yeah, weapons are pretty good. Yeah, we could sell. Are there differences in prices on where you sell? Sell that. Gonna keep the coils and stuff. Not yet, but coming in the future there will be? Okay. Now we can hyper jump too. Since we built that hyper drive, that's Q. Okay, I have some ideas, but I don't want to do them yet. <sighs> Red is playing Blood Bowl. He's making me Blood Bowl. Is that that football game? The hell? He must be like going. There's not a new Blood Bowl game, is there? He must be going like deep dive retro. He doesn't even know American football. He's from Tennessee. <laughs> I need to get over there and help him. Should we go and troll him after the stream? No, let's be nice. No, let's not. He's nice, though. Which means we got to pick on him. Okay, so goals are eliminate fugitive, fugitive, fugitive. Where? Oh, right. All right over here? Bro, you're not even going to stand a chance. Blood Bowl 2 is a 2015 game. Is it on Game Pass or something? He does play like weird games like that out of the blue, which is cool. Not weird, but I wouldn't have expected him to be playing that tonight. I thought he'd be playing Cosmo, Cosmeteer. You ever hear it? It's a, a Starship Architect and Commander game.
Are they using Romulan cloaks? There we go. Get goblined. <laughs> uh, you're fun to listen to and watch. Thanks for being entertaining as heck. Thank you, Eric. Uh, thanks for being in our community. Hanging out. I don't know about you guys, but now because Thanksgiving's kind of... Well, still feels like Thanksgiving weekend for me. Even though it's Tuesday. Always felt that way. Where Thanksgiving feels a little extendo. Do I plan to pick up a deck gun? Oh boy, that would be kind of cool. What we'll probably end up doing is we could get rid of these smaller lasers and go with some deck guns. This is just the loot goblin hive. Like, this is the, like a beehive. You know, the goblins come out of the loot hive. Oh, well. We got him. Next one is Effigy and... Serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Alright, go to the next battle. There's got to be some sort of a thing that increases your detection range, right, of enemy ships? Because right now we can only quote unquote see this far. Gotta be some sort of communication thing for that, right? Called a sensor hub? Okay. Is there a grub hub? Can I... Can I install that? I'd like to at least take a peek at the menu. You may file when ready. Goblet. Dude, oh my god. I just thought about this, chat. You know who the ultimate loot goblins were? The frickin' Borg. The Borg were just loot goblins, dude. Just pulled up and be like, hey, this is ours now, dude. Totally true. Not even the Ferengi were that l level of loot goblin. The Borg are just like, mine! Ah. The Ferengi want to talk and make business contracts and like do things legally, you know? 
Or at least, you know, what's good for business. But the Borg would just like, skirt. Oh, there's another unknown signal. Oh, we've already done that quest. We don't have to do those anymore. Keep getting these kills. Yeah, I mean, the Borg just show up and start blasting. The Ferengi are like, uh, hey, um, you know, art Article 14, Clause 36 says that uh, we may initiate blasting. We spend so much time in the initial area buffing up the ship. Three bounties crossed off. Th those are fun, dude. The bounties are cool because you just pull up real quick. I'm sure it'll get more complicated and difficult because these are only level twos, but... Load it up, boys. So essentially it's just like the Borg Cube was just an Amazon fulfillment warehouse. That's what we are, too. Like, you can kind of see a ship, but mostly just, like, if you think about it, Costco. Just Costco with some, uh, some wings. Can you make carriers in the game? Um, I don't think so, but that would be sweet. Hopefully, because this game's getting a lot of great reviews and a lot of support, I think it's got 3,000 overwhelmingly positive or very close to reviews. Hopefully, with all the, uh, added support from the game's success the devs can like do more stuff that they didn't even plan on doing oh no guys oh no Big ass debris field. Amazon resistance is futile. so good dude no we're playing the full game
Are there evil genius traps? Um, I don't think you can be boarded, but that would be really cool in the future to see. Ship's so big that there's literally like land battles inside the ship. <laughs> That'd be crazy. All right, let's go back to uh, the station here. Look at that. Oh yeah, absolutely. Adding a lot more weapons would be great. All sorts of crazy missile launchers and stuff. I feel like that's going to be the coolest, is like missile launchers, but I haven't yet really used them. Because I can just pull up and just park. Take an enemy out head on. Or cube in it. Ship looks fantastic, though. What's not to love? Like a glove. Here comes the mo- here comes the mo- here comes the money! Ah, oh, darn. We need a lot more fame to recruit more, but... What missions would give us the most fame? Plus zero, limit 40. Oh, I see. All right. All good things, indeed. Hey, guys. Well, that's it for tonight's stream of Cosmo Tier, a game that I wish I would have checked out much earlier in uh, October when I was first kind of told about it, but... Uh, good games sometimes, you know, are worth the wait if you're busy with other things. And this is certainly a fun one. So hopefully we see a lot more diverse uh, trade and station building and a lot more uh, combat in this game. But overall, a solid, really fun experience that reminds me a lot of... Like the buildings, uh, some of the structures look like Factorio. But it plays like Faster Than Light meets... Um, like very heavily into Space Haven, but much faster. And that's really satisfying to be able to... Edit something on the fly, try out a new design, and just keep on trucking, brother. All right. See you guys tomorrow morning for Valheim. And then, finally, tomorrow night, the release of Warhammer 40k Darktide. I'll see you all then. Thanks again for all the support, memberships, comments, and positivity and greatness. I hope to see you all tomorrow. Let's go say hi to... Uh... Let's see. Who haven't we raided in a while? Red Uthras. Uthras has been gone because of Thanksgiving. Uh, let's go say hi to Uthras, and then tomorrow we'll show some love to Red after Warhammer 40k. Alright, I'll see you guys then. Good night, everyone.